Bundy's Garage, Bundy here. Today I'm here with my good buddy Dennis, and uh, we're gonna go over some things. This is uh, actually gonna be a, actually gonna be one long video, and I'm gonna actually splice it up into probably six or seven different videos. So you can actually, um, if you guys want, you can click in the description below, and we'll uh, there'll be a link to the full length video if you're watching just one of the one of the mini series of this. We're actually gonna go over a couple different things. Uh, Dennis is a mechanic. How long have you been a mechanic for? About 13 years. 13 year mechanic. Pre-lube oil filters. Yeah, it's not necessary. I. What about that dry start condition? Uh, most most cars is such a nominal amount of oil in the filter. Um, it, on a diesel truck, you know, where the where the oil filter, you know, international, where the oil filter is nine inches deep, you know, you're definitely gonna put a quart of oil in that sucker. Um, but for the most part, um, <clears throat> the the uh, oil pumps pump up pretty quick. You you're not gonna get much of a dry start situation. There's already oil in the in the motor. You can't get it all out when you pull the plug, you know. Yeah. Um, so for me personally, that's my opinion. You know, I know a lot of guys are super stickler on it and you know always fill the filter you know how how much of a pain in the butt it is to put a sideways filter on full of oil you're going to make a mess and you know what the customer is going to come back and say hey why is there oil dripping out of my car i just got the oil change it's leaking you know unless you got a magical wand to clean up all that residual <laughs> oil um you know you're better off making a, making as little mess as you can in a customer's car keeping them happy um you know, a filter that's this big is, you know, it's going to fill up with oil. The Mazda, the Honda you know. tow filters, <clears throat> Mazda, Honda oil um, filters. You know, and I, I've, I've never pre-filled my, my oil filters on my car. I've never had a problem. Um, I've worked as a lube tech. Um, when I first got into school at Mazda, I never pre-filled oil filters. Never had a car, a motor launch on me because I didn't pre-fill the oil filter. <laughs> you know, it, it is what it is. So it's up to you guys if you want to do it, if you don't want to do it. Pre-fill, not pre-fill. You know, one half of the other, whatever, whatever they say. Guys, thanks for joining us today. I know this has been a long video. We're coming up on one hour and Dennis has got to get out of here. Um, Keep an eye out. We'll, uh, soon, he's going to launch a channel as well pretty soon. And as soon as he does, I'll bring him back on here. Um, we'll do a shout-out to him and um, either bring him back or I'll do it myself. But uh, Dennis is a great guy. He's been my friend for a long, long time. We've probably known each other, what, 12 years now, if not longer. And uh, he's come over to help me, help me with stuff in my garage. Thank you, Dennis. I appreciate it. Appreciate your time. Um, Questions, comments, concerns, you can always reach out to me at bunniesgarage at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Bunny's Garage. You can also follow me on Facebook. Uh, I wish I had made it to SEMA, but I didn't this year. Guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you can, and uh, keep your eye out for more videos.